Hello everybody, Jonathan here. In this video, I'm going to use OpenAI to detect the sentiment of a string of text or tweet. Uh, we're going to do this using the API, the completion API, and uh, we'll get right into it. But uh, please hit the like button if you get anything out of this video and consider subscribing. I'm trying to get to a thousand sub subscribers and uh, at the very least just leave me a comment. Tell me if this is a good video or a bad video. But, but yeah, let's, let's, let's get right into this. So some housekeeping, let's start with that. So we're using the OpenAI library in Python. My IDE is PyCharm. So in order to, to import this using my IDE, and there are other IDEs, you just go into the uh, the project settings and you add the library. If you're running it from the console, you might have to use uh, some sort of a package manager like NPM and, and install OpenAI that way, or you can do it binary. Uh, that's a whole different video. So we're, we're running OpenAI. Um, OpenAI requires you to set some system variables, but I am what is known as lazy, and I just store my key uh, in a separate file and then call it just to hide it here and keep it secure. So you might see some code examples where they're referencing a, a, an environmental variable for the key. I'm not doing that. I just set the key equal to key.key .key right here, openapi.key. You know, if your key was like, you know, some, you know, whatever. You could, you could even put it right here, some key, whatever your key is. So you get the open AI key. Um, and then let's get right into it. We gotta create a response. So response equals open AI.completion, right? There's, there's a whole bunch of uh, options here. Answer, the answer API, completion, uh, you know, many, many different uh, options you can select from. This is why I use PyCharm, is it kind of helps you explore all the members of that, uh, you know, of that library. So api.completion.create. Okay, and we are going to first set the model to be equal to text-davinci-003. This is just a, the model is something you can tune later on, depending on the amount of overhead you want the, uh, the 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 project to run uh, it, it's it's really more about performance and speed and, and accuracy then we're going to set our prompt to be equal is decide whether a tweet sentiment is positive or is positive or negative no the tweet and then we'll, we'll come up with the actual tweet later on. But I'm just going to go through the rest of these. Set the temperature to be equal to zero integer. Let's see what other pieces here. You know, I can just copy and paste the rest of this. Max tokens. Frequency. You, you only get so many tokens, so you got to just use this to manage it so you don't just run one query and, and use all of the you know all of the funds or whatever all the tokens in your in your open ai account so here we have this uh, i'll get rid of this now clean that up and we have we can let's let's figure out what our tweet is what do we want to say the tweet is going to be i really don't like uh, eating at Stevens restaurant. Literally just making this up as we go. Little estimation point there. Decide what is, and let's run it and we'll, we'll print out the response. And the response is negative. So that's a negative statement. How about I, re and then what if we change the don't to a do? I really do like. That's positive. And then what if I was to say, tonight I ate at Steven's restaurant. Now this person's not saying really any value judgment about whether or not it was good or bad or what. Oh. I guess I guess that could be uh, interpreted as positive. 
one would make the tweet say, I feel indifferent about Stephen's restaurant. Neutral. All right, so I think it's just picking up on some, some keywords. Um, But yeah, that's, that's about it. Yeah, neutral text completion. Yeah, so there you go. That's how you can run a really easy way to run a sentiment analysis. It's it, it, you know, uh, it's a shortcut really. If you have, you know, running a sentiment analysis requires a bit more overhead. But but this, if you can just call the API, um, it, it might be a good tool for you know to have in your back pocket for for debugging or adding some features or something like that. So yeah. Hit the like button, leave a comment, please subscribe, and thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.